What's up everyone, it's your buddy Jay Rassic, and I'm hoping that you are having the best day of your entire life today. And today is not so much of a great day now, is it? We were all expecting a 1.9 update or DLC, and lo and behold, nothing came to us today. Nothing was announced. Uh, in fact, we got crickets just sounding in the distance from Frontier right now. Besides a few community blueprint uh, posts on Twitter and everything, nothing has been said. Now, of course, the day's not over, but, you know, we don't know. So, uh, but before we get into the video at hand here, I just want to say, again, thank you to everyone that has been subscribing. I know I do that in a couple different videos, but I'm going to say it again because, you know what, it is just absolutely amazing how fast this channel is growing. And uh, lo and behold, um, as of right now, um, we have, as of this moment, at 12.18 p.m. Central Standard Time on March 24th, we have 253 subscribers, so that is just amazing. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, and if you haven't already, and you like these videos, uh, and you're enjoying the content, subscribe. It's absolutely free, and it helps the channel grow. So, go ahead and hit that little red button right down there. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for your subscription. And, um... And of course, don't forget to like the videos because the when the when more of the videos are liked, it shows uh, YouTube that the that the videos are being watched and being liked, and they like that, and they want to show it to other people that maybe don't have never heard of me before, um, and uh, and it just helps the channel grow. And I would really like the channel to grow and gain a more of a of a community. Speaking of communities, you can always join my Discord if you haven't already. I do post a lot of videos and stuff like that, and eventually uh, we'll be posting more blueprints and stuff like that. Uh, I will also be doing contests, uh, whether it be free giveaways and all that other fun stuff uh, through my Discord. So make sure you join my Discord if you haven't already. So, moving along. Why haven't we heard anything from Frontier? Well, there's a lot of different theories right now that are going amok um, uh, within my little social channels. And, you know, one of them is basically that it's just not ready yet. Plain and simple. They, um... A lot of us looking at the calendars and so forth and, and um, a, a past deal season and everything and we just all start coming together with our own different theories of dates of when they're going to release it. And honestly, according to some of the DLC theories uh, uh, or past DLC releases and update releases and so forth, we should have potentially heard something within the last three weeks. However, yet, lo and behold, we have not. And every single time we are asked Frontier, they say we have nothing to announce at this time. So, what does this mean for Planet Zoo? Well, last I've been reviewing some of the comments and the forums and so forth, and sure enough, it seems that there are some people out there that are giving up hope and thinking that Frontier has abandoned Planet Zoo. And unfortunately, I have to say, you are wrong. Their Frontier has not abandoned Planet Zoo. And I'll tell you why I believe this. Because, first of all, we are now in eight, uh, within our eighth week of our community zoo. If Frontier was indeed going to abandon Planet Zoo, why would they go ahead and, and start a community outreach interaction program such as Planet Zoo? It makes no sense. So if they were going to abandon it, they wouldn't, re they wouldn't waste the resources or the money to go ahead and provide entertainment and interaction within the community. Also, uh, the main fact that they're, they are average, they are you know showcasing blueprints and stuff like that um, within the Twitter and social media. Uh, they are being more engaging with the community. If a company was going to go ahead and just throw their arms up and say, "No, nope, we're done," we wouldn't hear anything. Just like they did with Jurassic World Evolution One. Uh, we were all anticipating more DLCs for the Jurassic World Evolution uh, first game and uh, like the aquatics and also the flying reptiles and so forth. And yet we got crickets from Frontier for nearly five years um, till Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. So with that being said, it's just like, well, actually not five years, but you know what I mean. It was a good span of time, a good two or three years till Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. And we heard absolutely nothing from Frontier about anything. Um, so here we are having constant interaction with 
with the uh, with the devs uh, through Steams, live streams, and social media posts and everything. So to say that they are dead is absolute, or that Planet Zoo is dead is is just ridiculous. So get that out of your head. Don't you fret. Don't you worry. Planet Elt has us in well good hands and is taking care of all of us through uh, with Frontier and everything. So we have to have faith in our devs and our community managers as we go ahead and just await patiently and, and anticipating this next 1.9 DLC uh, and update. So... So why is it taking so long? As we mentioned, um, as I may have mentioned earlier, I've done a couple different recordings here, but anyway, it, there is one reason why it is potentially taking so long to hear from uh, Frontier about a 1.9 update. And the reason being is because as I mentioned in my previous video, the file has been, been modified and updated several times within the Steam database since November, since the release of the Europe pack. Now, of course, Several data mined attempts have been made and so forth. And the only thing that comes up was, of course, the capybara and, and, and whatnot um, and nothing else new that could point to what the next 1.9 DLC is. Now, of course, as I mentioned, a lot of people are looking at these files and are theorizing that this could be a very massive, uh, massive update uh, and or DLC. And whether it be more animals or more mechanics and stuff like that, who knows? It's anyone's guess right now. But the reason why they think it's been uh, that it has been uh, it is a massive project that the Frontier is currently working on is because this thing, this file has been updated several several different times um, within the uh, within the Steam database. Um, so. You know, there's been updates back in no dating as far back as December and January and February from these screenshots that I've been getting. And I'll show you a couple of them right here. As you can see, I honestly can't make heads or tails of any of this whatsoever. Uh, just basically stating that a file has been updated. Now, what could that really mean? Well, that could mean basically that there is a mechanic that is in the game that they are constantly trying to debug. That something in that new update is not really jiving with the new Cobra engine or the current in-game coding and so forth. So they are constantly updating it and, and manipulating it to make it work. And maybe, just maybe hypothetically, it hasn't came to that point where it is working to the way that Frontier is wanting it to, to be working. Um, so, uh, or maybe it's perf not performing the way it should be and so forth. So with that being said, um, we just need to be patient because I would rather have a, a like I mean, it's like if you order a steak for example uh do you want it to make it all quick and fast and it comes out burnt and charred or do you want it to come out where it's just nice that nice medium rare tender center warm center of that ribeye and and it's just glazed with with you know just all good flavoring and everything personally when i lowered my steaks I want to go ahead and have that nice marbling. I want it to have it been aged well, and I want it to taste great. I do not want to go ahead and spend money on a hockey puck um, uh, and have them just quickly cook it. And that's kind of the same scenario here. We don't want them to just go ahead and cook it as fast as they can and hope we like it. We want to make sure that we are getting a good volume of 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 a good volume of uh oh what's the word i'm looking for a good volume of uh of textures and and uh quality that's what i'm looking for a good quality savory flavor to this game and you know what the only way we can do that is by being patient and let frontier do their do their thing so with that all being said there are several different aspects um, that could potentially be in this 1.9 update and DLC. As I mentioned before, we could be looking at rides, maybe a new ride system. Um, like uh, possibly instead of a, the gondola, which everyone hates, we could maybe get a ski lift or something like that, or a sky fari as they call them in zoos. Or as I mentioned early, earlier, a carousel. That would be really nice to have in a zoo because let's face it, how many zoos out there have carousels? Quite a few out there have carousels or merry-go-rounds as some people also refer to them. Um, so, you know, that would definitely be a very nice addition into Planet Zoo. 
Other aspects that we could be looking at is different me animal mechanics, like the swing, maybe the climbing mechanics, and this uh, is something that they are currently working on and trying to make that better for this next 1.9 uh, update. Uh, we could have arbitrational swinging, uh, for example, uh, like the rain tanks, and uh, and you know potentially future. Uh, uh, futuristically we could potentially be looking at gibbons um why wouldn't we so you know so, stuff like that could it easily be uh in the works of being debugged and of course let's not forget our marine uh aquarium uh mechanics maybe that's going to be in the game where we're going to get different exhibit sizes and stuff like that um uh, or maybe just you know just all in all just different type of mechanics that would involve actually fully aquatic animals and then finally, last but not least, and probably the most anticipated, possibly flying animations. So we could have birds, bats, flying squirrels, whatever. It could potentially be there. But I guess we won't find out anytime soon today. Now, I believe someone mentioned that they were poss Frontier was possibly going to be doing a stream on the March 25th, I think it is, which is tomorrow. Um, but I, I didn't see anything in the schedule or the forums. It's just kind of been casually mentioned to me a few different times by a couple different people. So if you know about that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Because I, def I definitely want to be a part of that. Because <laughs> if they're going to announce anything, I want to make sure I hear that. And maybe they're going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing that they did with the European pack. Where they go ahead and they kind of did a storyline or a journey um, uh, with the, the with the European pack. Um, and, and be more engaging with the community. So... I'm really anticipating a lot of those different things that are coming. So nonetheless, long story short, do not lose faith, my friends, because Frontier will come through with us with a 1.9. It will happen. We are just eagerly waiting for, the, for it to be announced. So with that further said, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you like these type of videos. I will have uh, some more content coming out to you here within the next week or so, um, uh, which includes the Omaha Zoo, Reptile Gardens, and of course, Ray Ray's Wild Safari, and JT Gamers. And of course, when that DLC announce, uh, is announced, I guarantee you we have a huge surprise for a huge collaboration just made for the community and uh, we are looking very forward to announcing that here um, as we are just uh, starting to uh, finalize uh, some of the recording dates and so forth and whether we're going to do a live stream for that announcement and whatnot so make sure you subscribe so then that way you are up to date with all the latest news with planet zoo as well as a lot of my other projects that we have in the works so till next time as always build play and enjoy this is jay rassic signing out thanks for watching and goodbye Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. That way you keep up to date with all the content that I release on a weekly basis. You can also follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Steam, Discord, as well as Facebook. Till next time, build, play, and enjoy.